Hey everybody, it's Brandon from VK Milling and Hardwoods here in Cleveland, Tennessee. And uh, I'm trying to get prepped for this big order that I have coming in next week uh, to produce a bunch of material for someone. And I'm out here going through the log pile, all of these logs, I just get them milled up into cans so I can stack those and have them waiting in the wings um, for any you know future milling needs rather than having them sit here all spaced out now well, I have three red oak logs laying down here that I just got delivered the other day uh, two of these logs are veneer quality logs they are absolutely beautiful um, the third one uh, has a branch that comes out of the top of it so the rest of it looks really really good so if I just cut that branch off it'll produce some some pretty nice lumber but uh, like I said you know out here trying to cant stuff up and this log that I have on the mill right now I thought was white oak it was in my white oak stack um, and it had been delivered I don't know, six months or more ago and so I started trimming knots off of it to uh, be able to manipulate it on the mill better and the first knot that I cut off I looked at it and I said I don't think that's uh, white pine that doesn't look like white pine at all and so uh, I turned it around and I took a test slab off of it to see and lo and behold it is definitely not white pine um, however it is friggin gorgeous um, I'm going to flip the camera around over here and set it up I'm going to dump a, a bucket of water on this uh, this specific piece that's still sitting on top up here is unreal to me I'm not a hundred percent sure what species it is it has I think it's I think it's soft maple the grain structure looks like soft maple the color does not at all and I'll show you what it is that I mean give me just a second here let me uh, set the camera up there try to get you guys a decent shot that's best it's going to get right now. Okay. So this is what we've got. So I need to move the saw head out of the way. So it's not casting a shadow. And there we go. See, I can't even see. <laughs> Look at that log. Holy crap, is that not gorgeous? See, I'm not even sure what it is, but uh, see, we've got spalting that runs along the edges all the way down through here and on the other side that's from it sitting and then in here we have crotch figure that runs all the way through here then we come over to this side we've got some compression figure here and then a piece of crotch figure that runs uh, that's a solid if you start down here and go to there that's a solid two feet a figure there's a knot inclusion there there are a couple of knots right there um, but if you can see so it has this really red color almost like cherry but I'm not I don't know I, I don't know what species of tree this is I'm really not sure see this is common these little stripes that you see here this quilting that's common in cherry and maple both you see that a lot um, 
but these colors i mean this looks like cherry ice cream through here i i really don't know what this is i'm going to take a wild guess and say that it is some kind of maple or in the maple family of some ilk i can get way down in there and maybe you can see the grain structure You see, I don't know if the camera can focus that close, but this is just absolutely gorgeous. I, I really don't know what it is. There was no bark on it, none at all. Um, it looks like it's all come off. I don't know what's going on today. Uh, it's warm, it's 70 degrees out here because it's supposed to rain all week long, but the gnats are just everywhere. I mean, you probably can't see them on camera, but there's like a swarm of them all around the saw head. And they've just been bugging the absolute snot out of me. Um, yeah, I really wish I knew what this was. I'm going to uh, take the camera and set it up over here somewhere, somehow. This is actually my phone. My camera is actually sitting in the shop in there. Uh, the batteries are not doing very well with holding charge. Um, so, I guess I'll use my coffee mug over here as a prop. And then uh, I'll get back to cutting this again. Um, yeah, this is just absolutely gorgeous. There is, there is a problem here in the end. You see this crack runs this way. I really, 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 really wish I could have turned this log up and had that crack going horizontally. But when I started making my cuts, I thought it was white pine and I was just gonna cut it into you know, three inch by however thick uh, slabs to turn them into cants. Um, so I would have rotated this around and cut straight through that crack, but it was too late. I'd already started making cuts on it. Um, I definitely don't want to flip it on its side now. I think what I'll do is I'll just keep cutting slabs off of it as it sits. And then I'll come back later, seal the ends on it and then uh, either put some S hooks in the ends um, or ratchet strap them and just try to, to keep that from splitting any further. Uh, so let me set this up here and we'll see if you guys can actually see anything. Because I sure can. There we go. Here we go that way. There we are. All right, let's do this.
double crotch figure, baby. I'm just kidding guys. You didn't really think that I was going to uh, let you go without showing you a good shot of what these slabs really look like next to each other. If you like these videos and you want to stay up to date with us, make sure to click that subscribe button down below. You can also visit us at vikingblooded.com and facebook.com forward slash vikingblooded and patreon.com forward slash vikingblooded. As always, stay safe and have fun.